Glory, glory, hallelujah. Since I laid my burdens down, glory, glory, hallelujah. Since I laid my burdens down, glory, glory, sing with me, y'all. Hallelujah. Since I laid my burdens down, glory, glory. Hallelujah, since I laid my burdens down, I feel better, so much better, since I laid my burdens down. I feel better, so much better, since I laid my Bird is down. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Anyhow, never let your troubles get you down. Where hard trials come your way, hold your head up high and say, Hallelujah. Anyhow, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Anyhow. Never let your troubles get you down. Woo. When high trials come your way, hold your head up high and say, Hallelujah. 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 Anyhow. Whoa. Hallelujah. Anyhow. Never let your troubles get you down. Praise the Lord when high trials come your way. Ah, hold your hands up high and say, Hallelujah, anyhow. Thank you, Jesus. In spite of what we're going through, Jesus. Hallelujah, anyhow. Thank you for the test. Woo. Thank you for the trials and tribulations. Oh Lord, we've been making do for the night, but joy, 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 we're coming to morning time. This is the time for morning. This is your time for joy. You don't got to smoke no weed. God is all we need. You don't have to take no angel dust. And God, we ought to trust. You don't need no drug overdose. All you need is the Holy Ghost. Can't nobody love you like Jesus. <laughs> That's my song I wrote. Praise the Lord. It's on my record. Coming out in the month. You don't need no drug overdose. All you need is a Holy Ghost. Can't nobody love you like Jesus. Ah, I feel Jesus. You don't need to smoke no weed. God bless you. Amen. He praising God up in the car. God is all we need. You don't need no dope. God is a great, great hope. I'm definitely not talking about the Pope. You don't need no drug overdose. All you need is a Holy Ghost. Can't nobody love you like Jesus, J-E-S-U-S. Jesus is the best. He's a God of holiness. Are you a God of righteousness? A, B, C, one, two, three. Jesus Christ died for you and me. Ah! You don't have to take no LSD. Yeah, 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 Lord. Hallelujah. You don't need no drug overdose. All you need is a Holy Ghost. Can't nobody love you like Jesus. Oh, Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, and he's worthy to be praised. I heard the songwriter said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, y'all know the song, and, and all he's done for you and me, yeah, Lord, my soul, ah, come on, I feel like preaching now. My soul cries out, hallelujah. I praise God for saving me, and God can save you too. To the utmost, Jesus says, thank you, Jesus. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for you are good. Now, I want to be good back to you now, God, because you've been so good to me. Jesus said you love me. Keep my commandments. God, you've been more than good. 
God, you amazing. It was amazing grace. How sweet does sound that say a wretch like you and me. I once was lost, but now we found. You should be blind, but now we see. Can't nobody love you like Jesus. Oh, 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 hallelujah. You don't have to take no drug overdose. All you need is a Holy Ghost. Getting the Holy Ghost is even better than taking a drug overdose. Hallelujah. Oh, I praise you, Jesus. Jesus, you are the answer for America. God, there's so much killing going on in the world. There's so much gun violence going on in the world. There's so much racism in the world. Love, love, love one another. God don't hate black skin. God hates a black heart. And don't let love depart. Same way God don't hate white. God hates spite. God don't hate Puerto Rican. He can save a Puerto Rican. Yes, he can. God can save the Asian. God's grace is amazing. Oh, uh, come on. God can save the Jamaican. Yes, he can. God can save the Chinese and the least. That's why he said, for God so loved the world. It didn't say he loved sin. I else he would never have gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him should not what perish? Perish where? In hell. I don't, I don't want to go to hell, honey. This sun is hot enough. Yes, this sun is extremely hot, but it's cold compared to hell. It talks about it in Isaiah chapter 5, verse 14. It said, hell has enlarged itself without measure. It's a place for the wicked. So he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. We're talking about the Prince of Peace. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. Ah, praise God. Have everlasting life. God want to give you everlasting life. Don't got to smoke no weed. God is all we need. He want to give you eternal life. Eternal peace. Eternal joy. Accept Jesus and repent from your sins. So the Lord can live with it. God bless you. I want to address some comments here on YouTube. Say praise the Lord to everybody. I thought it was going to be cool today, but it's really hot out here today. If I might take my tie off a little later on. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. Amen. I want to address some of your comments here on YouTube. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Uh, I saw many of your comments and your prayer requests. I'm going to address it right now. It's beautiful comments. We have a backslider who wants to come back to Jesus. Say, so you've been watching my YouTube videos and it has been blessing you every day. I say, you're a backslider and want to come back to Jesus. This is why I make the YouTube videos. To see souls come to Jesus. Ah, uh, my good brother, I'm going to address you in just a couple seconds. Uh, Airy Robonis, he replied uh, to the YouTube where I talked about the baptism of Jesus' name. He said, thank you, Pastor. That was a very helpful. He said, that was very helpful. Yeah, I was explaining about the baptism of Jesus' name. and broke it down. He said, praise the Lord. I want to be baptized the correct way. That's beautiful, my brother. I'm looking to get baptized very soon once I find people that would do it in the Lord Jesus. Even if they baptize and say, I baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ, just as good. People who would do it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Name and my titles and, by, and not by titles. Very good. I think about getting baptized every day. Pray for me to receive the Holy Ghost very soon. Praise God in the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to pray that God will fill you with the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Like they did on the day of Pentecost. I got the Holy Ghost in the house. When I was 12 years old. I got on my knees. I began to tarry for the Holy Ghost. I began to say hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The next thing I know, I began to speak in other tongues. The Spirit of God gave me utterance and God gave me joy and peace and long suffering along with the fruits of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, joy, long-suffering, temperance, according to the book of Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. Not only I have the evidence of speaking in tongues, but it come also with the fruits of the Spirit. Many people speak in tongues, but don't have the fruits. But that means they don't, they don't really have the real evidence. If you got the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is Jesus Christ. Not only it come with the evidence of speaking in tongues, I am cloven tongues, which is diversity of tongues, like they did on the day of Pentecost, you get a chance to read the book of Acts, chapter number two. 
how they received the Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost. He said, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a mighty rushing wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Oh, praise God. He sat upon each of them. And they was all filled with the Holy Ghost. Speaking in other tongues came as fire. The fire represented the joy of the Lord. When you receive the Holy Ghost, it comes with the fruits of the Spirit, which deals with your character. That's why I understand many of you church people out there speaking to all these tongues. You speak it in tongues, great. I respect that. There's something wrong when you're still grouchy, evil, jealous, still full of hatred and malice, unforgiveness, no love, and evil, fighting over chicken in church, fighting over collard greens in church, fighting over petty stuff, trying to break up somebody's marriage. No love, then you have no fruits. <laughs> so when you speak in tongues and have the evidence of speaking in tongues, it come with the fruits of the spirit, joy. Peace, love, joy, love, joy, peace, temperance, patience. Look, Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. Read it, you get a chance to. The fruits of the Spirit deals with your character. So now, if y'all speaking in tongues, but y'all ain't got no fruits, then you didn't really speak in tongues. Now, maybe you just made up tongues, or somebody teaching you how to speak in tongues. Hello. Uh oh, amen. Ain't nobody, no one's supposed to teach you how to speak in tongues. It's the Holy Ghost. Who speaks in tongues through you A heavenly language Praise God for the Prince of Peace You really speak in tongues The Holy Ghost is Jesus Christ He said after the Holy Ghost has come upon you You shall receive what power Acts chapter 1 verse 8 The Greek word for power is dunamis Praise God for the Prince of Peace The Holy Ghost is Jesus Christ When he lives When he comes upon you And lives in you He dwells in you He affects your character now you have that love in your heart. You're not evil. He takes the evil out of you and put good there. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. So we praise God for you, my brother. If you want to get baptized in Jesus' name, let me know what state you're in. So we can find some churches for you. We baptize in Jesus' name. Whatever you do, do it all in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. In deed, in word, whatever you do. I read it in Colossians, the scripture I gave you. Okay, we have another person who came to YouTube uh, you left a comment here it's very important your backslider this is beautiful our backslider wants to come back to the Lord you got really in this Sun kind of hard to see it you see how I state your name I'm putting you on the prayer list J Gerada Wood praise God Forgive me if I pronounce your name wrong, incorrectly. But you got a wonderful name, Gerala, Gerada Woods, spelled J-E-R-A, A-L-D-A, Wood, W-O-O-D. That's easy to that's easy to pronounce. Gerala Wood, praise the Lord. God bless you. Uh, you left a comment here, a wonderful comment. You said, "Good afternoon, Pastor Warren. Good afternoon to you too. I watch your videos every day." I am so happy and blessed that God has allowed me to find your channel. I'm happy to, for you to be at my channel. Welcome. Praise God. Please pray for me. I sure enough will. I would love to. I've been backslidden for many years. And my heart has been so heavy for years because of it. Depression and regret is what I feel every day. I feel so lost. But this is the day that God will find you. Seeking these shall find, and knocking the door shall be open. I'm going to pray for you, my sister, on the YouTube. Praise God. Welcome back to Jesus Christ. I know you're a backslider, but Jesus is married to the backslider. So we're going to pray for you on YouTube that God will restore you, that God will restore your joy. Amen. God bless y'all this morning. Y'all are too blessed to be stressed. Amen. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you so much. We thank God for that Holy Ghost couple. He's praising the Lord. As the praises go up, the blessings. God bless you, you know that? So we're going to pray for you here on YouTube. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. That you give your heart back to Jesus Christ. That's why you've been so burdened. God is calling for you. Uh, like the prodigal son. He left his father's house, but he came back. And his father had open arms to embrace him with love. He said, welcome back. Jesus is standing right there. 
to embrace you with open arms and love. That's why you've been burdened. You have not been happy. Because Jesus is no longer there. But he has not forsaken you. He's still there waiting for you to come back. Many people have backslid for different reasons. I don't know your reason, but many people have backslid over a man, over a woman. Might have got involved with someone who were not saved. And the devil will use that as a trick. To get you involved with the wrong man or wrong woman. They come handsome and beautiful. And big muscles and six pack. Uh, she comes shaking her hips. And got it shaped like a Pepsi Cola bottle. And the enemy knows what you like. And, but they're not saved. They don't care nothing about Jesus. All they want to do is party and shake it and hip it. Come on. The other dancing like Kirk Franklin. You got to pray for Kirk Franklin. He dancing too much like the world. I saw a video where he was shaking and shaking and shaking. I know he's been through a lot. We got to pray for him. But these churches now became whirly. Now, this is a musician talking now. I play bass guitar. I used to play for concerts back in New York City. Harlem Time Knocker Choir. Play for a whole lot of choirs. And this is a musician talking, a bass player. Who know how to get down on the bass. Funky. And this is me talking. Many churches became too early. I'm going into Southern for a reason. Never put this worldly spirit in the church. Became a party church. The enemy is very tricky. To make you think that you're going the right way. And you're not. Talking just in general. Praise God. The conspiracy is a, for the enemy to make you take your eyes off God. Be close. The devil don't want you to believe that holiness is right. We're going to pray for you. We thank God for your prayer request. God is going to restore you and fill you with the power of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. And then after God fill you with the power of the Holy Ghost, God will give you power to stay safe. Because the enemy sends tricks. He sends lust, seducing spirits. They come right in the church. Yeah. I want to show you something. Here on YouTube, all of you. We're gonna and my prayer warriors, handmaiden, dying shepherd. I want you to pray for these two souls, Ari and Sister Wood, who came to the YouTube. They want to be saved. One is a backslider. So I want my prayer warriors to pray. We put them on the prayer list. I want to show you something. I'm looking this up. I'm gonna take my time. Praise God. Name my sermon today is the conspiracy won't work. You're coming on top. The conspiracy won't work. You're coming on top. And I want to show you something. Oh my God, I just read something here about Diddy. He got locked up. He got him somewhere in the cell somewhere where it's dangerous. He got maggots all over the place. See, that's what happens when you do wrong. Having these sex parties and sex trafficking and, and, and all this evil. You know, that stuff comes back, you know. What goes around, come around. I don't like to see nobody suffer, but the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Here, uh, world news. We have another thing here. We talked about the tragic life of Florence Griffin. Journal, I remember her. Yeah, she was a track runner. She died at an early age. I wanted to show you something here. Mm, Shakira bandage stage after fan appears to femin up her dress at Miami nightclub. But she had the nightclub dancing and half naked and dressed short. So, you know, of course, you're going to expect these things in the club. You put yourself in that position. We're not saying it was right what the man did, filming up your dress. But when you put yourself in these lustful positions and these seductive positions, and you're half naked and your breasts out and you're wearing the short dresses, not to put you down, you are in the devil's turf. And you're giving him room to use people to do things like that to you. Get in God's turf. Get in God's world. You don't have to take no drug overdose. All you need is the Holy Ghost. Ah, uh, praise God. You don't need no crack cocaine. Just get in God's domain. Ah, uh, come on. Here it is now. When you get in God's domain, you no longer will be insane. Get in God's domain, y'all. When you in that club, all that lust, you in a lustful domain. That's what, so now another man doesn't film something under her dress. Just looking at news here. Another thing about Diddy, stabbing brutal sleep, regions and maggots, reading food inside the hell hole jail where Diddy is caged at. That's where R. Kelly was at. So, so, so they got him, you know, he's trying to get in, 
Pio to get out of jail, but they don't want to let him go. All that sex trafficking he did and all that, all them orgies he did and all them sex parties in Hollywood, that stuff comes back. When you sell that, so when you sell your soul to Satan, he'll bless you with fame and fortune. And the devil will laugh at you after a while. And he'll take your soul to hell. That's why Jesus said, what profits a man if he'll gain the whole world and lose his soul? Let me tell you something. I'm not going to hell for money. Oh, yes, we need money, but I don't worship money. The Bible said that the love of money is the root of all evil. God bless you, man of God. I'm happy to see you all today. Praise the Lord. God bless you, my brothers. They're praising God up in the, up in the Jeep. It's good to see two young men who love the Lord. Y'all too blessed to be stressed. Woo! Have a good day. Praise the Lord. God bless my brothers who believe in the holiness. Ah, praise God. I'm not making no pact with the devil. Okay, y'all. So we're promising man if he gain the whole world and lose his soul. I know it's been a struggle. But it's, it's, it's a conspiracy to attack your finances so you can make a pact with the devil so you can be envious of the wicked. And you see how blessed they are financially. How rich and famous they are, but they sold their soul to Satan. The devil told them to sacrifice loved ones just so they can get riches and riches and fortune. And when that contract is up that you sign with the devil, the devil laughs at you. You come to collect. Now at the end of your life is tragic or bad things are happening. And the devil don't care nothing about you. Now look what happened to Diddy. Now he in jail. Now he in a cell where there's other inmates who are dangerous. <laughs> Sad. That's not what I want to show you. Uh, we got Loretta, Bishop Noah Jones' wife. Ten things you didn't know about Loretta. I'm just looking up some things here. Praise God for the prince. Oh, that's for the preachers of L.A. <laughs> Noah Jones is a anointed preacher. Had it. But a lot of these, before I go any further, it's, it's a conspiracy even with that because men of God, you got to be very careful that the devil don't try to make you don't allow the devil to make you a celebrity. Too many preachers are trying to become a celebrity. It's all about entertainment with a lot of preachers. God did not call me to become a celebrity. If you want to be a celebrity in Hollywood, that means that you've got to make a pact with the devil. I'm not making no pacts with the devil. Either you're going to serve Jesus or Satan. You can't serve two masters. You should love the one and hate the other. I'm not saying that they did. When I watched that Preachers of L.A., Years ago, honey, I thought I was watching the pimps of LA. These men of God was acting like pimps. Come on. You can't be a pimp and a preacher at the same time. That don't represent holiness. I just talked about that. Hol the holiness message had went out the church. The conspiracy that the devil wants to bring in the church, the devil wants the church to act like the world. When the Bible said in 1 John chapter 2, verse 15, Love not the world, which means don't love the drugs, don't love the crack, don't love all the lipstick, don't love all the earrings, or don't love, because that stuff represents the golden calf. When Israel took their earrings off, their golden earrings off in jewelry and made it into a golden calf when Moses went to the mountain and they persuaded Aaron to help them make this golden calf. And they made God angry and God destroyed half the Hebrew Israelites, amen, for disobeying him because they was worshiping the golden calf. You look beautiful without jewelry. That's what that jewelry represents. Love not the world. Don't love the mini skirts. Don't love the fake eyelashes, the long fake eyelashes. Oh, come on. Don't love the things in the world. Don't love the cigarettes. Let the Lord set you free from smoking. Now you can stop choking because cigarettes will give you lung cancer. Cigarettes will mess up your lungs. The wonderful body that God has given you is not for cigarettes or drugs, let the Lord give you a hug. God's love can deliver you from drugs if you're willing to repent and let the Lord live within when you repent from your sins. Don't have to take no heroin. Let the Lord live within and he'll set you free from heroin. Love not the world. Don't love the things of the world. Don't love the evil things of the world. Or else the love of the Father is not in you. The conspiracy is for the devil to get the church to want to be like the world. When the Bible said, be not conformed to this world, Romans chapter 12, verse 1, verse 2, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove that which is good and that which is acceptable will of God. 
We're living in the day now, the church want to be like the world. Now you can't tell the church from the world. You go in church now, you think you're going to a strip club. Now you can't how they tell the church now from a strip club. Who are you to judge? It's true. The Bible says you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. I'm not saying every church is like that. God got some good churches. Some of you churches now are acting like strip clubs. You go to church now, the pastor acting like a pimp. Are they cheating on his wife? Pastor, they're begging for money. By the time you walk out of church, the pastor took all your money, and he walk out blessed while you walk out broke. Come on. Don't care about your soul. Women are big chasing out the married men, knowing he has a wife. When the Bible said husband, let every man have his own wife. They didn't say another man's wife. Let every woman have her own husband. They didn't say um, group sex. They didn't say open marriages. Come on. We don't believe in open marriages. You don't share your wife with your brother. You don't share your wife with your sister. Or else it's adultery. You don't share your husband with your sister. Who are you the judge? It's true. The Bible said that fornicators will not inherit the kingdom of God except before marriage. It's better to marry than to burn, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 7. Go to verse number 9. What I say about every man, every woman having their own wife and husband, that's in verse 2. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. It said fornicators will not inherit the kingdom of God. Adulterers will not inherit the kingdom of God. Iron ladies without inherit the kingdom of God. People are worshiping people. They made him an idol. They got that show on TV, American Idol. As talented as I am, that God gave me many gifts. I don't want nobody worshiping me as an idol. I don't want to become no idol to nobody. The Bible said, I ladies will not inherit the kingdom of God. All the glory goes to God. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless the police force as they fight crime here in New Jersey. Protect the police as they fight crime and all around the world. We're praying for you. Hallelujah. And the firemen. We're praying for the doctors. We're praying for everyone passing through here. Thank you, Jesus. Save them, God, and fill it with the power of the Holy Ghost. And don't got to take no drug overdose. All you need is a Holy Ghost. You don't need no dope. God is a great hope. I'm not talking about the Pope. You don't need no crack. Run to where Christ is at and get out the prayer, prayer match. Come on. God bless the police force as they fight crime. We're so proud of y'all. God bless them, Lord. Bless them, Lord. Protect them, Jesus, as they protect the people. Save them, God. Bless them, Lord. Save them, God. And fill it with the power of your Holy Spirit. He was waving his hand in the cop car. Praise God. Imagine the... the Cops are getting the Holy Ghost. Firemen getting the Holy Ghost. Oh, oh Lord. We have to be an example to the world. Are we perfect? No. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes too. That's why I must ask God forgiveness for my sins every day. The enemy sends temptation. It's a conspiracy for the church. The enemy wants the church to act like the world. Not every church is like that, but most churches are. You think you're glorifying God by doing all these, all this dancing like the world? You think you're doing a holy dance or you're doing a lustful dance? Then you praise dancers. Got dresses way up here. I'm not trying to put you down, being respectful. Breast out. You say you're doing a praise dance to God and this is a seductive dance. And now you're bringing on temptation in the church and lust and seduction. And you mothers just sitting there not saying nothing. See, we need more mothers that know how to speak up and pray. And say, no, 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 daughter, pull your dress down. Say it in love. You're already beautiful. Let me teach your daughters how to dress holy. We need more mothers like that in the church. The Bible said, let the aged women teach the young women of the church. And let the older women teach the young, let the older men teach the young men how to be men. How to pull your pants up. And don't have your drawers showing how to pay child support when you're making all these babies. Come on. We need some older men who are real men to teach young men how to be real men. We need more fathers in the house. We need some more older mothers in the church to teach young ladies how to be ladies. Not how to be loud and bossy with the mouth and virtue, but how to be virtuous women. But if you're not virtuous, you're loud and seductive. I saw an old mother one time, and God bless her to respect. I'm going to still respect her. I have to pray for her. Maybe she's looking for love. She's like 75 years old wearing a miniskirt. All oh, have her cleavage was showing. I said, Look, this is an old woman, like older lady wearing mini skirts, 70 something years old. Now, how are you going to teach the young ladies how to conduct themselves 
you're not being no example. This is what I'm talking about. Now, let's go to the video. I want to show you a video. Look at this. Oh, my God. Kirk Franklin just shaking it. Shaking it. Talking about he's shaking for Jesus. That ain't no shaking for Jesus. That's shaking for the devil. Want to be Michael Jackson so bad. When I had to leave my nursing job, That's, I was stunned to find and, out and James to Brown. You can't be dancing like James Brown and Michael Jackson, glorified God. Look at this. I hear Kirk Franklin dancing like the world. This, this is ridiculous. Let's go back to this again. Let's gotta go back to this again. I wanna, I want y'all to really see this. And let me know if this is a holy dance. This, this, this can't be holy. As you can see, you're doing a seductive dancing. That's a spirit. That's a, that's a demonic spirit. You can't be Michael Jackson. And one time you're dancing like James Brown. I know we used to love James Brown, but they, James Brown wasn't dancing for the Lord. James Brown was dancing for the devil. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Let me. Let's go back to this. Y'all saw it. I know it's kind of hard to see. I know it's kind of hard to see because it's so hot. We got to pray for Kirk Franklin. For these gospel stars, because they're dancing like the world. Now, when Kirk Franklin was doing a dance like that, that can't be godly. Because they're dancing like Michael Jackson and James Brown and shaking his hips, showing off his muscles on stage. That can't be holy. That don't represent God. Now the church has became worldly. Now you can't tell the church now from a strip club. Women are they dressing half naked in church? How can you win a soul to Jesus and you ain't right with God yourself? And then when a man look at you, hey baby, now you're talking about y'all need Jesus, the blood. Time to breathe the blood on you. Come on. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Y'all need Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. Praise the Lord. We're going to pray for Kurt Franklin. I know he's going through some things. I know he's been through a lot. Has a good heart, very gifted, love his songs. But when we see these things, we have to pray for them. Pray for him. As well as the other gospel stars. Say, Lord, deliver him, Lord. Let him see the error of his ways so that he can get correct. Because God loves Kirk Franklin too and don't want to see him go to hell. Ask God to give him conviction because that's misleading people. People going to all the concerts. He was with Will Smith doing rituals and this Grammy Award thing come on had to fight all around him some of this stuff is satanic rituals so all that shaking and that's a spirit and you see it it's a demonic spirit so something done jump in him and we have to ask God to cast out of him and pray for him praise God some of them took many of these gospel stars have took on an effeminate spirit uh, a gay spirit, a sodomite spirit. I'm not saying he's gay. I don't know about that or not. But the churches have embraced this stuff. God don't change his word. So God joined male and female. Didn't say he joined male and male. It didn't say he joined female and female. Fee fee and me me. He joined male and female. Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, not Eve and Eve. Read the book of Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22. Leviticus chapter number 20, verse 13. Roman chapter number 1. Start from verse 22 on down. Just go on do it very quickly. 1 Corinthians chapter number 6, verse 9. They say the infeminate will not inherit the kingdom of God. Now we're living in the world where they embrace this and say it's okay. They say it's okay to be gay. That's what the government say. It doesn't mean that God said it's okay. You must understand it's a spirit, it's a conspiracy to corrupt the image of God in man, to make man act like a woman. When God did not ordain for man to act effeminate, God put masculinity in man. And God ordained for the woman to be feminine. That's a beautiful thing. When God created Adam, he made him masculine. When God took 
Eve, the rib out of Adam's side and made woman. He made her to be feminine. The devil wants to corrupt that and bring a spirit. Now, many of you have been molested. Many of you have been sexually abused, which is not your fault. I'm going to pray for you. It's a conspiracy, especially in the Roman Catholic churches. Many of you gay priests, lesbian priests are raping little girls. Many of you became victims. We're praying for you. How can you molest a little child? Child molesters are going to hell. You're supposed to, to protect the child and not molest the child. So now that lesbian spirit fell on the child because the child became a, he was a victim of a lesbian who sexually abused you. That effeminate spirit fell on the young man because he was a victim of molestation because a sodomite priest has molested you in the Catholic Church. Not just only in the Catholic Church, even many Pentecostal churches. Our so-called Pentecostal churches. And we're going to pray that God will set you free. It's a conspiracy. And it's all in the gospel music world. The devil knows we like music. So he wants the music to be whirly and like the world. Now you're dancing like the world, doing backflips. Women are there shaking their hips. In the, now you think you're going to a club or you're going to a gospel concert now. Ah, oh, praise God. Praying for Fred Hammond. I love Fred Hammond. You think I can play bass? Fred Hammond played bass guitar way better than me. I like it. I love his songs. There is no weapon formed against me. Shall prosper. It won't work. There is no weapon that's formed against me. Shall prosper. It won't work. Whoa. I love his song. So talented. Let's, let's pray for Fred Hammond. I used to love the commissions, especially the whining. So we used to love the whiners back in the day. My Fred Hammond is a Freemason. My grandfather was a Freemason. Now we know that Freemasons worship Lucifer. Freemasons worship Balfamet. A Balfamet is a demon who looks like a goat. My grandfather used to pass before churches. I told you that story before. He used to preach the word of God. Before God took him home but he was doing witchcraft on the side even though nobody said it but we already know in the Freemasons they are doing the rituals a lot of this that's a conspiracy praise God in the church and outside the church why you think there's so much crime going on in the cities so don't blame the politicians well spiritually I can to a certain extent even though the politicians are not encouraging crime but many politicians are Freemasons Masons do witchcraft. Easter and stars practice witchcraft. Easter and stars are the woman version of the Masons. Y'all in the political world. May you are reverends, mayors, congressmen. And you're doing wonderful works in the community, which is wonderful. But we're not saved by wonderful works. We're saved by grace and through faith. Ephesians chapter number 2 verse 8. It's not of works that we're saved, but it's by His grace. Not of works that we're saved. That any man should boast, but we are saved by grace and through faith. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. That's my Holy Ghost transit worker, praising God. It's good to do wonderful works, but we're not getting to heaven because we do wonderful works. There are many people who do wonderful works who do not believe in Jesus. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 7, verse 22, Many in that day would say, Lord, Lord, have we not cast out devils in thy name? Have we not prophesied in thy name? Have we not done many wonderful works in thy name? Then where I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me. Depart from me. He workers of iniquity. The morning is wonderful works. Freemasons, y'all believe that doing the wonderful works in the community will get you into heaven. You've been deceived. You can't serve the devil and Jesus Christ at the same time and think you're going to heaven. When Jesus said, why call me Lord, Lord, and do not the things I say? He said, no man can serve two masters. He said, love the one and hate the other. If you say you love Jesus, then you don't shake hands with the devil. So we're going to pray for Fred Hammond as well. That man is one of the most gifted men. God loves Fred Hammond. Saints, pray for him. That God opened up his eyes so he can renounce the Masons. So he won't go to hell. Many of you bishops, continue to teach the truth. If you care about people's soul, 
preach the truth in love. I preach to myself. I got to practice what I preach. Lord, forgive me for my sins. I ain't better than you. God bless you, young man. Hallelujah. I got to ask God forgiveness for my sins every day. Oh, come on. So I can practice what I preach. Preach to reach each. Come on. The conspiracy is for the church to act like the world. Back in New York, Brooklyn, I used to preach to many revivals. Back in New York City, I was born in Harlem. Started preaching God's word when I was six years old. My first street meeting when I was 12 years old. Preaching the gospel on the streets of the Bronx and Harlem. Preaching God's word. I've been preaching God's word up in the projects. Preaching God's word in the hood. I've been preaching God's word in the drug dealing areas. Souls have been coming to Jesus. In New York City before I move here to New Jersey. That's what God has called me to do. As well as preaching in churches. And when they should call me to do church revivals. In Brooklyn, Queens, New Jersey, North Carolina, doing chip revivals. You can go on my YouTube. You can go to Flame of Fire uh, 2014. Flame of Fire 2014, Apostle Warren David Adams. Why well, took that title off, Apostle? You can call me Street Pastor Preacher Warren or Pastor Warren Adams. God dealt with me about that. Don't want to be called no Apostle. Praise God. Hallelujah. But go to it, you'll see it. I have to take those titles off. Go to it. Flame of Fire 2014. Pastor Warren David Adams. You see my revivals. You see all my church revivals that I did on cable television. When they used to call me to do revivals in Brooklyn. I know there was a certain spirit in Brooklyn. Because every church is different. Certain churches I used to preach at in New York City. They love the word. They're saying. And they like to shout, but they love the word. Now, I noticed the churches I used to preach at in Brooklyn, they love to sing and dance, but a lot of the churches I've seen in Brooklyn don't love the word. Some churches love the word, like Bishop Hugh Rogers' church. I preach at one of his churches, Bible Way House of Blessings, Bishop William Washington, down there. But most of the churches I used to preach up in New York, Brooklyn, they love to jump and shout. Time the word go for. People, have, people sitting there half sleep. I don't care how annoying the preacher is, they get sleep. They don't want to hear the word, they just want to shout, run around the church, and eat, and go to Burger King, and want to go to McDonald's, but don't want to hear God's word being preached. They don't want to be fed with the word. They just want to dance and shout and have a party. They want to have a party. Holy Ghost party, Holy Ghost party, and dancing like Kirk Franklin. Dancing like the world. Doing all these different steps. Think it's glorifying God. One time, my good friend, woman of God, Patricia McKinsley. I mean, she's a woman of God. God bless you. Praise the Lord, Patricia. Friend requested me on my other Facebook. I mean, I love her ministry. Praise God. She got a praise dance ministry. And I, I was on her cable TV program. We used to work at the same, uh, the same TV station in Manhattan. In Manhattan. She has a gift of discernment. I'm so proud of you and your daughter. She invited me to Trefo Dollars Church. I didn't know he had a church up in the Bronx before I moved here to New Jersey. She said, I want you to come hear me praise. She said, I want you to come watch me praise that. I said, I don't mind that. Because, you know, she supported my ministry. So I believe they're supporting each other. We're like a team. That's my good friend. And I always had a gift of discernment. So I praise God for Patricia McKenzie. So I went there. It was on New Year's. Eve. I never forget it. Praise God. My first time at that church, the Clifford Dollar Church, it was Jan Pat. I saw some people who I didn't see in a long time. They said, hey, Preacher Warren is here. I saw some friends of mine who I grew up with who knew me from a long time ago and knew my ministry. Didn't know they was going there. The Clifford Dollar Church down in the Bronx. So I get there. I didn't see Patricia yet. I'm looking for, I guess she didn't get there yet. And it up there playing Michael Jackson. Beat it! Beat it! I said, well, maybe I'm in the wrong church here. Shh. I said, oh no, you in the right church. The people say, you in the right church. It's a couple dollar church. You were dancing like the world, playing Michael Jackson music. Beat it! 
I said, what in the world? Now, Patricia didn't do this. I didn't know where Patricia was at. I was waiting for her. She might have been in the church, and I didn't see her. Because the main service didn't start yet, the New Year's service. And they was up there playing Michael Jackson in church. I didn't hear no gospel music being played in church. They were playing Michael Jackson, and they were dashing in the church. I said, maybe I'm in the wrong church. They said, no, you're in the right church. I said, this is a church? People shaking their hips in church. Men had green hair. Honey, I thought I was looking at Fred Flintstones when they had all this. I thought I was looking at a cartoon. I said, wait a minute. People look like rock stars up in here. Man had green hair, red hair. People dancing on Michael Jackson in church. I said, how they playing Michael Jackson music in church? Michael Jackson didn't serve the Lord. Michael Jackson didn't love Jesus. You ain't never heard Michael Jackson even talk about Jesus. So don't talk about Mike. It's the truth. Michael Jackson even said that he sold his soul to the devil. Come on. He's with the Illuminati. You ain't never heard Michael Jackson, our prince, even glorified Jesus. I love Mike. I love Prince. They were devil worshippers. I don't mean to hurt your feelings, but I got to tell you the truth so you can help you get to heaven. Then I saw the ushers, the old women, even the old mothers was dancing like the world, shaking their hips. Then they had one, I, I, I don't want to get too graphic. I couldn't believe it. They said, hey, preacher Warren, let's dance. They said, not me. I saw the saints of God doing, cutting their steps in the church, dancing like the world. I said, this is not godly. I said, this is the devil. I thought I was in, I thought I was in the club. Now you cannot tell a church from a strip club now. Going to church now is like going to a discotheque. Uh, they had women in church of their half naked. Breast was out. I said, what kind of church is this? I said, this ain't God's church. Women's body supposed to be covered. Men up there dancing like the world, up there shaking his hips around another man's wife in the church. I said, Lord, this ain't no real church. They're dancing on Michael Jackson. Beat it! If you don't turn that Michael Jackson music off in church, God will beat you. So he'll chastise you. And you'll be here. Ah, beat it! Yeah, he'll beat you with the word. Come on. I said, Lord, I wasn't feeling comfortable. <laughs> I said, I'm going to stay in the midst of this because I promised my. Sister Patricia, I'm going to support her praise dance ministry doing the service. The service didn't start yet. I was so uncomfortable. I wanted to leave so bad. They tried to get me to dance with them. I said, I'm not dancing like the world here. They are there cutting steps and going back and forth and all this type of stuff. It was not godly. It was not holy. It was worldly. That's a conspiracy. They thought it was godly. They thought God was being glorified by playing Michael Jackson. You ain't never heard Michael Jackson even mention Jesus. See, but he was a Jehovah Witness. He did not never mention Jesus. The moonwalk didn't come for, from Jesus. Michael Jackson was doing the moonwalk, but he was not walking for Jesus. Oh, uh, come on. Are oh, they doing moonwalks in the church? That don't magnify Jesus. That moonwalk wasn't holy. It was impressive. But there was demons in that moonwalk. A lot of them celebrities have made a pact with the devil in the hip-hop world. In Hollywood, most of them are Satanists. Got to be careful. God bless you, man of God. He know I'm telling the truth. Thank you. Thank you. Young man know I'm telling the truth. What profits a man if he gain the whole world and lose his soul? And now the enemy, the conspiracy is the devil wants the church to be like the world. We're supposed to be different from the world. He said, be not conformed to the world. He said, I chose you. You are the king of people, huh? You are a holy generation. You are a royal priesthood. Because I chose you. Because I call you out of darkness and into his marvelous light. Are we perfect? No, we're not perfect. But we're striving to be like Jesus and say, Lord, help me, Lord. Help me in the area, Lord, where I'm weak at, Lord. Help me, God. Bless this young man of God as he drives today. God bless the young man of God. Praise God. God is raising up young men like that. God bless the young man of God. Praise God. He was enjoying the work. So I stayed through the whole thing. And they said, Warren, you want the best dresses in our church. Now they want to have a dress contest. They want to have a fashion show. I didn't feel comfortable with that, but I was humble. I said, I want to leave so bad. But I promised my good friend, 
Sister McKinley, <laughs> Patricia McKinsley, that I'm going to stay and support her dance ministry because she's my uh, one of my best friends. I love her as my friend in the gospel. And sister, praise God. So I stayed through the whole thing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Thank you for that water you gave to me last time. God going to bless you for that. You and your family. Have a good day. God bless every person walking down the street. You can save the young people and fill them with the power of the Holy Ghost and protect them, God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to Dios. Lashes Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Save the Lord. Are we going to pray for you, young lady, on the YouTube? I know you're backslid, but God loves you. We're going to bring you back. But to finish telling this story, I'll never forget this. A couple years ago, they finally started the service in the main sanctuary. It was packed. So I'm sitting there. I then went through emotional torment, watching all this, all this dancing going on. They dancing on Michael Jackson. Beat it! Beat it! I said, oh my God. Nothing about the Holy Ghost, nothing about Jesus, it's all worldly. They thought they was glorifying God. Michael Jackson, not to put Michael Jackson down, because we used to love Michael Jackson. I used to love the Jackson 5. A, B, C, E there, one, two, three. And I think Tito just passed away, so we're praying for the Jackson family. We're praying for them because we know that they was initiated into devil worship at an early age. Okay, that's another story I'm going to tell you about. Praise God, but they're a very talented family. We used to love the cartoons with the, the big afros. Oh, baby, give me one more chance. It, it, we used to love that. So we're praying for the Jackson family. Uh, Tito Jackson passed away, but I'm concerned about the soul. I want people's soul to be saved. Anyway, going back to the story, went to the main sanctuary, and this lady gets up looking like Diana Ross. I thought I was looking at Diana Ross, but it wasn't. She had the long hair, like down the Ross, half the breast was out. I said, oh, Lord, why are women dressed so seductive? Come to church to hear the word of God being preached and surrounded by seducing spirits. They don't make it no easier to live holy. So I had to pray for her in my mind. Maybe some of them just looking for love and just searching for love all in the wrong places, not realizing you're already beautiful. She, uh, this woman was on the street, not Patricia. Patricia was the only one really covered. Saw this, but she didn't come out yet. She, she's the head of the praise dance team. This is when uh, the worship began to start. The woman gets up, breasts out. She looked like Diana Ross, had all this makeup, long fake eyelashes. Not to put her down, but this is what's going on. So everybody begin to wave your hand to God and let's begin to worship the Lord. Let's begin to worship God. Wave your hand to God. Let's begin to invite God's presence in the place. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. She said, let's begin to worship the Lord. Raise your hand to God. We want to invite God's presence in the place. I said, how can you invite God's presence in the place? When y'all just finished dancing on Michael Jackson an hour ago, now you want to invite God's presence in the place after you done disrespected the presence of God? How are you dancing on Michael Jackson for two hours in the, in the church? And then now y'all want to get holy now. Now you want to get deep. Let's begin to Worship the Lord. She said, Everybody gonna wave their hands to God, begin to worship Him. All the breasts out, one covet, had a seducing spirit. I said, Lord, this church is too early. They have their dancing on Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson didn't glorify God, Prince didn't glorify God. That's worldly music. Now they want to invite God's presence in the church, and now they're saying, Now they're saying, the woman was already looking like Donna Ross from the 70s. Let's begin to worship the Lord and invite God's presence. Everybody, let's begin to worship God in the spirit and the truth. God will not in that. Because you can't mix holiness and God's worship with Michael Jackson music. Now, come on. The two don't mix. Love the one and hate the other. You understand what I'm saying? That That's the conspiracy in the church. To bring the world in the church to make you think that God is being glorified and he's not. Lord, I want you to watch this. It was all this dancing like the world. People shaking the hips. All this loud music. Women up there shaking and carrying on. Men dancing like the world. I said, this ain't holy. So ain't nobody got discernment in here to see this not holy? Then they pointed me out to come to the stage. They said, we want to have a fashion show. And we pick Preacher Warren. He's one of the best dressers here. They called me to the stage, you know. In front of all them people. 
I said, oh, gosh. I went on stage, stood in front of all them people. So we want to see who the best dresser. And people were clapping their hands for different ones. I said, Lord, I would have never have came if it was not my, for my friend. I'm only here for my friend to support her praise and dance. I said, well, I don't want to be here. I'm just only here for my friend. Finally sat down. Four dollars and members was like, Oh, we love you here and welcome. Come back, don't be a stranger. I said, My mind, I ain't coming back here. I ain't coming back here, not here. But I said, I'm a mistake. I gave my friend my word. My friend Patricia finally came out and did her praise dance ministry, and she was awesome. And what I love about her was she was covered, she was covered. She didn't have a breast out, she didn't have everything all showing, she was well covered. Why was the other ones not like that in that church? Now, I'm not really so much in the Clefo Dollars ministry, praying for him. I'm not so much in his ministry. I only went because I was invited. Because my friend invited me because she's my friend. But Lord, let me see something. How worldly many churches are. Even in Brooklyn. Most, even, now I was in the Bronx, but a lot of Brooklyn churches are really worldly. They have a lot of gay bishops. You know how Eddie Long was? Bishop Eddie Long was molesting little children. Bishop A. Long was molesting little boys. That was wrong. If A. Long did not repent, A. Long is in hell for being a child molester. Come on, the man was a bishop. How you got child molesters in the church? That ain't God's church. God's church ain't got no child molesters. Come on. Now, a lot in the music gospel world have a lot of gays. I'm not going to mention his name. There's one bishop. That I love the way he sang. He's one of my favorites. Praise God. One of my favorite. I'm praying for Bishop Hezekiah Walker. I love Hezekiah Walker. Oh my God. He's, I'm telling you, he's one of my favorite artists. Won't you make me clean? I love Hezekiah Walker. And I know a lot of his musicians. Praise God. I'm gonna pray for Hezekiah Walker too. Pray for him. Now I know there was a, a, a story that his wife, Monique Walker, awesome singer, caught him in the bed with another man. Now I don't know how true that is, People make up stories, you know. They make up rumors. So I don't want to say something that's not true. But it was said that they caught him with a they caught him in the bed with another man. And then Monique Walker got mad at his wife and pushed him down. He pushed her down the steps. I think he was locked up for this years ago. But he's out now. But I heard he apologized to his wife for that. That was beautiful. I saw the video where he did apologize to his wife. So I respect Hezekiah Walker for that. The man is very gifted. And he does have an anointing, and he can preach. But I want to pray for many of you gospel stars. If you are living the Sodomite lifestyle, come out of it. Ask God forgiveness. Because the Bible said that the gifts in according to God are without repentance. Romans chapter 11, verse 29. Many of them are with the Illuminati, with the Freemasons. You got the nice robes on and everything. You got your bishop robes, you got the cross on. But you in that Sodomite lifestyle. Come on. I used to play for choirs. I used to play bass for concerts. So I know what I'm talking about. There's a whole lot of gays in the choir. And they can sing. They can preach. Y'all can play organ. They even got something called gay gospel. No such thing as a gay gospel. The gospel is not a homo. The gospel is holy. Oh, come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. The gospel is not homo. The gospel is holy. This is hate speech. No, it's not hate speech. This is truth speech. You don't want to be one of the ones that Jesus said, I never knew you. The pot for me, he worked every iniquity. But Lord, I did gospel records in your name. But Lord, I used to preach the gospel in your name and, and many souls came to Jesus. But Lord, Lord, I, I built churches. and I was ordained by Bishop Bonner. And, but Lord, I was well known around the world and God gonna say I never knew you because you had a, you had a gay lover on the side now you can't make it to heaven and you have a gay lover on the side and give your wife AIDS come on there are a lot of preachers who are sodomites and got gay lovers on the side and think you're going to heaven because you were bishop no not so come on come on many of you are doing witchcraft in church you're Freemasons Got Ouija boards, OG boards, doing evil voodoo. Come on, doing Satan worship. For fame and fortune, 
And Jesus said, what profits a man if he gain the whole world and lose his soul? Come on, I ain't losing my soul for fame and fortune when God can bless me himself. That's the conspiracy in the church. Now going back to Brooklyn. A lot of you Brooklyn churches I preached that didn't like the word, but you like to dance and have party time. What you call a Holy Ghost party ain't no really Holy Ghost party. It's a homo party. So I'm not trying to offend the one. I'm preaching out of love here because I want to see you make it to heaven like I want to make it to heaven. You're dancing like the world. All these Solomites just dancing. Dancing. Men, and you know, men, many Solomites can dance. I mean, y'all can dance. You know how they cut a step. The drummer going. <laughs> Try to outshout a homosexual. Try to outshout him unless you under the anointing. Y'all can shout, you can dance, and you're still going with men on the side. Still shocking with men. And you think you're getting over with it because you feel you're getting by with it. It's sin. That's why when, when God says to preach it like me, to preach the truth, the church get quiet. Or, or you'll jump and shout when the choir is going to fall. Time the word go for. Time the truth is being preached. Then y'all don't like the truth. Y'all walk out the church, chip out the church, and reading Playboy and Penthouse. Are you watching your phones? Don't want to hear the gospel being preached? When the Bible says, how can he hear why the preacher? How can he preach except he been sent? When the Bible said follow peace with all men and holiness, while which no man shall see the Lord. Take off the skippy pants. Praise God. Where you're dressing seductive. All the behind is out. In the church. Pastor ain't saying nothing. It's nasty. Some of y'all like 75 years old. Wearing mini skirts. Come on. Seductive. That don't represent Jesus. Got this woman right here. Now she come by, passing by here. All the behind out, wearing skippy pants. Come on, walking this close. Now you too old to be dressing like that. Come on. Why? I'm gonna pray for her. God loves her. Maybe she's searching for attention. Shutting enough and getting my attention. It's nasty to me. And then you're partying like the world and you call it a Holy Ghost party. What you need is a Holy Ghost holiness revival. Come on, come on. There are many, many other churches who love the word. They sang, but they love the word. But I noticed churches in Brooklyn, something about the spirit in Brooklyn. God spoke to me about a church in Brooklyn. He told me, he said, the bishop was a mason. He said, they only had a form of godliness, but denying the power. Yes, he preached my word. And yes, souls was getting saved. But he was in a secret society, the masons. That's how he got fame and fortune. That's how he got his cars and houses. Many of you bishops in the organization, even though you're anointed to preach, but, but you're with the Masons. I, I, if not with the Masons, you are in a secret society which deals with initiations. In the Masonic Lodge, they tie a noose around your neck and blindfold you and they take you to the Grand Master. Now Jesus said, call no man your master. Only your Heavenly Father is, only our Heavenly Father is our master. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 8 God spoke through the prophet Isaiah So I am the Lord And the Lord is my name And my glory I will not give to another And he said the grand master The most honorable one The most honorable one Is God But this, but this is how you'll become masons In the church They blind for you they take you to the Grand Master. They tie, they, they tie a noose around your neck. And they lay you down and pretend like you're dead. They got certain secrets that you're not supposed to reveal. Now, I don't know all the secrets. I'm not a Mason, never been a Mason. I did some studies on it. And then if they reveal the secrets of the Grand, of the Masons, they get killed. Now, that can't be godly. God loves you, but that ain't godly. Demonic. Then you pronounce in death. Many of you Masons are worshiping a skull and drinking blood out of a skull.
That's demonic. That's satanic. Jesus would never tell a bishop to worship a skull. That's evil. The skull represents death. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Though he was dead, yet shall he live. He that believes in me shall never die. Jesus is not death. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. You're not deaf. So many of you are drinking blood out of a skull. That's what I'm doing, y'all. That's nasty. That's evil. That's wicked. Get y'all in these secret societies. And then uh, when you make a pact with the devil, then you get a free house. A right, free car. They try to get me to be in that in Queens one time. And they offered me a free house and a free car. The Lord said, don't take it. It's satanic. I'll bless you myself. I've been going through struggles now. I have been easy. I never made a pact with the devil in the ministry. There's a lot of you getting up in ministry because you're in these satanic cults. And they're in the cult. They got men going with men, women going with women. That's why you got a lot of lesbians in the church, pastoring churches, which is nasty. Women are supposed to go with men, not women with women. Come on. You all be kissing on each other. Somebody, you a bishop? Men going with men? Because y'all masons, Freemasons. That's what the devil requires. He requires corruption, and then he puts you on TV. He makes you a mega preacher. You're selling your soul to Satan. You're doing false lying signs and wonders and deceiving the people. And now they're in the gospel world, and the devil got them dancing like the world, and you think it's holy, and it's not holy. It's unholy. That's a conspiracy. To get you to be like the world, to get you to have a familiar spirit, our divination spirit, to only have a form of godliness, but denying the power. Be careful so you won't take on a familiar spirit, our spirit of divination. They're prophesying out of divination and not the Holy Spirit. Beloved, believe not every spirit, oh Lord, but try the spirits to see whether they be of God, because many false prophets. I've gone into the world deceiving many. First John chapter 4, verse number 1. So we can look in the gospel singing world. Pray for Kirk Franklin, because the moves are not godly. It's seductive. Showing off his muscles. Trying to make, it's bringing on lust to the women. And you're going to all these concerts, dancing like the world, and think that God is in it. When the Bible said, love not the world, and need the things that's in the world. I else the love of the Father is not in you. First John chapter 2, verse 15. The church had became like the world. Men gone with men. Women gone with women. Pastors doing witchcraft. Doing black magic in church. Pastors having sex with every girl he prayed for. If the pastor don't repent, you pastors are going to hell. Repent. Churches, repent. You can't tell folk about Jesus or you ain't got Jesus yourself. It's too much hypocrisy going on in church. You only have a form of godliness, but denying the power. Lord, forgive me for my sins. Wash my sins away, God. I want to be right. I want my heart to be right with God. I don't want to go to hell. I have enough hell here on earth. I don't want to play with God. I'm not depending on Donald Trump. I'm not depending on Kamala Harris. I'm depending on Jesus. The Prince of Peace, Jesus, the mighty God, Jesus, hallelujah. God bless the police force. Praise the Lord. Say something before you go and you to land about Jesus. Praise the Lord, everybody. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Wherever you are, praise the Lord. Yes. He's worthy to be praised. Yes, he is. I just thank him every day, y'all. Thank yes. him every day. Yes. Thank him, y'all. Yes. He's gracious. Mercy. Yes. Woo. We can't ask for a better God. That's right. Nobody Peter. can be God. That's God. right. God is good, y'all. All the time. All the time. God is good. Preach it, brother. Thank y'all. Y'all have a blessed one. Amen, preacher. God bless you, Mr. Evans. God bless you. Praise the Lord. That's my Holy Ghost policeman. He's on fire for God. Somebody loves Jesus. Somebody appreciates Jesus. Woo. Whoa. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, everybody.
But let's praise the Lord with our life. I preach this way because I love people. I love souls. And every message I preach is also for myself. But we're coming on top. It's been a conspiracy. But we're coming on top. The devil want to send you a, the wrong woman or the wrong man to lead you away from God, to draw you into the worldly world and not in God's world. But the conspiracy won't work. You're coming on top. Keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Praise the Lord. God bless you, my brother. Have a good day. You're too blessed to be stressed. <laughs> Praise the Lord, my good brother right there. Happy to see everyone today that God will save you and feed with the power of the Holy Ghost and receive Jesus in your life. We're coming on top. We're going to pray for the young lady who wants to come to Jesus. We're going to pray for you. God loves you. We're going to pray for I want all my prayer warriors around the world on YouTube. We're going to pray. Praise God for Ari. That he received the Holy Ghost. We're going to pray the prayer of faith for Sister Woods. That she received the Holy Ghost. Says she's a backslider, but she wants to come back to Jesus. God is married to the backslider. God bless you. You're going to pray for her and Brother Abby that God will save you because he loves you. Praise God. Stay in your word so you won't fall into the traps of the enemy. It's been a conspiracy. Praise God. We're praying for the gospel stars. That God will open up your eyes when you come out the Freemasons and renounce it. God will protect you. And the Illuminatis will stop the rituals so you won't go to hell. God wants to save you and feed with the power of his Holy Spirit and come clean. If you want to get caught up, get cleaned up. It's a conspiracy in the church, in the gospel music world to make you think you're going God's way and you're not. It's a familiar spirit. It's a spirit of divination. It's a worldly spirit. And you're doing these worldly dances. And it's not of God. It's of the devil. It's worldly. You open up portals for demons. Time for the church to become correct. And be holy. For God said, be holy. For I am holy. The holiness message is not a popular message. The holiness message ain't no money making message. Because folk don't want to hear about holiness. They just want to hear about money, 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 money. You talk about money, everybody shouting in. Oh, pastor say money coming. I, I like to hear that message too. But time you preach holiness. You know what I'm talking about. Church get quiet. So we ain't inviting him back no more. He preaching too hard. But the holiness message is a message that will help you get to heaven if you obey. Praise God. Who don't want to hear about holiness? Who don't want to live holy? You don't mind hearing my blessings and tell me how to get a house and a car and Tell me all the goody goody things. I like that stuff too. Don't get me wrong. Time to talk my stop shacking. Stop fornicating. Don't commit adultery. Who are you to judge? Who are you to judge? God is love. God is love. Who are you to judge? Who are you? Oh, folk talking like that. They get mad. Well, don't want to hear that. So now the spirit of compromise is in the church. So I'm not going to touch on those subjects because I ain't going to get mega. They may not raise me big offerings. So you won't talk on the subjects that God want you to talk on. You won't preach repentance. Church need to go back to the first love and do our first works over again. This ain't no popular message. I ain't trying to get popular. If God want to make me popular, that's up to him. But I ain't trying to be no celebrity. You had Bishop T.D. Jake praying for him too. God loves him. Or they hanging with Diddy. He should have told Diddy to repent. Not going to his parties. You should tell him, repent. 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 I'm not playing around with God. God ain't no joke. I want my heart to be right with God. Lord, forgive me for my sins. Wash my sins away. I made a lot of mistakes in my life. I want my heart to be right with God. Time is winding up. The devil's out to take our souls. It ain't easy living holy, y'all, but he'll bless you. The soul that sinned shall die, but he can forgive you. That's the good news. He can forgive you. Even though he's solemnizing. If you homosexuals, God loves you. If you lesbians, God loves you. 
God is saving lesbians. He's saving homosexuals. Even you transvestites, he can save you. You might have got molested. You might have been raped and sexually abused. You're the one that God want to use. He want to clean you up. If you're a devil worshiper, he can save you if you want to be saved. Jesus can break the contract that you signed with the devil. Now you can come clean. Now God can bless. Praise God. When you're willing to come out of mess. We're going to pray for, for Sister Woods and Brother Ari. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Touch Brother Ari. Lord, he's hungry for your word. Fill him with the power of your Holy Ghost. You got great things in store for him. Lord, he loves you. He's thirsty for you, God. He's hungry for you, God. Save him, God. Fill him with the power of your Holy Spirit. You got great give him the joy of the Lord. Like you did on the day of Pentecost. When it says, suddenly they came a sound from heaven as a mighty rushing wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And they was all filled with the Holy Ghost. It sat upon each of them. And they was all filled with the Holy Ghost. Touch Sister Woods right now. She's a backslider. She's been burdened. But this is your special day, Sister Wood. Welcome back to Jesus. God is embracing you right now with his love. Let's embrace Sister Woods right now, y'all. My prayer warriors and all those around the world, as we're praying for all of you out there, we're praying for you that God will turn your tears into joy. God bless you, young man. I'm happy to see you today. God bless you. You are too blessed. To be stressed. And you are too anointed. To be disappointed. All right, young man. Say a prayer with me right now. As this young man have came to me, and we're going to say a prayer together. Would that be okay? Okay. Thank God for your humble spirit, Lord, as you bow our head to you, Jesus. I'm praying for my brother. We're praying for me. We're praying for y'all out there. Yes, Sister yes, Airy, in the name of Jesus, Sister Woods, all of you out there. Yes, and you too, land. Save her, Lord. Give her the Holy Ghost. Touch her and the family. Lift that burden. Lift that burden off him. Touch my brother and myself. Yes. Those who stand in need of a financial miracle. You can bring prosperity. But most of all, we're giving our hearts to you, God. We're giving our minds to you, God. We present our bodies as a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable unto you. Forgive us for our sins. Help us in the areas where we're weak at. Make us strong in the name of Jesus in the areas where we're weak at. We know it's a struggle. We know it's a battle. But we're on the winning side. We're going to come on top. Tell someone we're coming on top. Coming on top. Yeah, I know it's been a conspiracy by the devil, but we're coming on top. Coming on top. Amen. Let's say it loud. We're coming on top. Coming on top. All right now. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God bless you, my brother. Right. Tell family, I say praise the Lord. Right. Amen. We thank God for the prayer. You're coming on top. Moving on up. Remember the Jeffersons? <laughs> moving on up. We move on up. I'm not talking about to the east side. We move up. We move on up in Jesus. You're coming on top. Hallelujah, he'll raise you above your enemies. Because I make your enemies your footstools. For those who are going to get a bad name on you and jealous of you. They're trying to mess up your reputation. He said, I'm going to prepare a table. Whoa, before you in the presence of your enemy. Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It was a conspiracy to bring you down. It was a conspiracy to make you backslide. It was a conspiracy to take you away from God. But you're coming on time. Oh Lord, I know you're going through with your finances. I know you had a hard time finding a job. I know your marriage had messed up. It was a conspiracy to use your husband and your wife and your children to make you leave God. But I hear the Lord says that you're coming on top. Many of you have been going through a Job test. Many of you women have been going through a woman Job test. But the Lord said you're coming on top. So though he slay me, yet will I trust in God. The Lord, 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 give us, and the Lord take us away. But bless it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Job lost all he had. But at the end, Job came on top. God gave him double for his trouble. All his friends who talked about him came back. God gave him back his wife. When she told God, when she told Job to curse God and die. But Job told his wife that you speak as a foolish woman. Though he slay me, yet will I trust in God. The Lord give us, and the Lord take us away. He passed the test, and he came on top. We're coming on top. You shall come forth as pure gold, tried in the fire. Not pure silver, not pure bronze, but pure gold, tried in the fire. Keep, keep holding on, saints. Keep holding on. You came too far to turn back now. 
Hold on. God will make you strong. Hold on. God will make you strong. Oh, if you can't hold on, God will hold on to you. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. But praise him. Hallelujah. In the morning. Praise him in the evening. Praise him at nighttime. When the praises go up, oh, Lord, the blessings will come down. Don't wait till the battle is over, but shout right now. Ha, you're coming on top. Thank you, Jesus. He said, I make you the head and not the tail. I make you above only and not beneath. If you keep my holy word and keep my commandments, if you do not keep my commandments, God said you'll be cursed. But I don't want to be cursed. I want to be blessed. Deuteronomy 28, verse 1 to verse 14. And go to verse 15. I want to be blessed, not cursed. God, you're worthy. In spite of you're worthy. I praise you, Jesus. I praise you. I will bless the Lord ha, at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. The conspiracy won't work. Give somebody a high five and you two land. And say the devil had a conspiracy for you. But it won't work. He can spirit to take you out. The devil try to take you out. He send witches and warlocks to what witchcraft against you. But ain't no weapon huh, that's formed against you. Shall prosper. God get angels around you. He said goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. Don't worry, but be happy. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. God loves you. God loves you. Ah, yeah, Lord. It won't. The conspiracy won't work. God has chosen you. He chose you to be a royal priesthood. He chose you to be a holy nation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You're chosen. God said you're chosen. The conspiracy won't work. They ain't waiting for you to fall. They ain't waiting for you to backslide. They've been jealous of you. They've been trying to tear down your name, your reputation, and your ministry. Praise God. They wait for you to crack up, but the conspiracy won't work. They try to get you to make a pact with the devil to be with them, but it won't work. God has his hands on you. Oh, hallelujah. It won't work. It won't work. It won't work. God bless you. Hope you enjoyed this message today. Welcome back to Jesus, Sister Woods. We're praying for you in YouTube land. Don't you feel God touching you right now? Don't you feel God embracing you with his love right now? Praise God. And Brother Aries, God going to feed with the Holy Ghost. He's going to get baptized in Jesus' name. Praise God. All of you out there who, got, who want prayer, who got you on the prayer list, tell yourself the conspiracy won't work. I'm coming on top. Woo! And not just only coming on top, but we're going to stay on top. When you stay with Jesus, stay on top. God is about to prosper you and us. God bless you. Hope you enjoyed this word. Praise God. I'm also praying for Clefo Dollar Church as well. God loves him too. All the churches around the world. I have to preach this way because the Lord told me to preach this way. It ain't always a goody goody sermon, but we thank God that he shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free when you receive the truth. I thank God for Sister Patricia McKinsley, my sister out there. Praise God. And all my prayer warriors, uh, Michael Sterup, uh, Brother Jackson. I can call names hockey and, and down in Canada. I can go on and on. Had Maiden, uh, praise God. Lady Priscilla, Ruth Horn, Ruth Hillborn. Praise God for Lady Priscilla. Praise God. She told me what to send to my cash app. My cash app is Flame of Fire 8 under Pastor Warren Adams. Flame of Fire 8 under Pastor Warren Adams. Flame of Fire 8 under Pastor Warren Adams. W A R R E N. Praise God. A D A M S. Adams. We're praying for you. That something good will happen to you. Because Jesus of Nazareth is passing your way. There's those who have been buying my witchcraft. We thank God the cock came to Jesus. You heard the cock praising God up in the cock car. Hallelujah. Jesus got more power than the devil. Hallelujah. When you call on Jesus, he will answer prayer. Glory, glory, hallelujah, since I laid my burden down. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, 
Hallelujah. Since I laid my burdens down, I feel better. So much better. Since I laid my burdens down. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Since I laid my burdens down. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You don't need no drug overdose. All you need is a Holy Ghost. You don't need no drug overdose. All you need is a Holy Ghost. Can't nobody love you like Jesus. Ah, I feel Jesus. You don't need no drug overdose. All you need is a Holy Ghost. Ah, ha, ha. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. Don't you feel happy, y'all? The joy of the Lord is our strength. God bless you. God bless you. Again, I cash that. Flame of Fire 8. I'm the Pastor Warren Adams. In Jesus' name, amen. We'll see you again. God bless you.